And what happens is the chest, uh, chestnut, it's not got chestnut in it. Why do I keep going to say chestnut? Mm. Hi guys, how's you know? is everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. So today I'm reviewing Angel Au Sucre by Terry Mugler. This fragrance originally came out in 2014. It was a limited edition for summer. What's that I hear you say? Angel in summer? Hmm. And it's been released in summer every year since. Now, quickly just wanna say, they do change the bottle and the packaging every year, which can be confusing and might make you think, oh, it's a different formula every time but I have it on good authority that they do not change the formula. It's the same every time. They just jazz up the bottles a bit. Just to confuse you, you know, because why not? I first smelled this when I went to the south of France. I picked it up, sprayed it on my hand. Didn't think much of it, but I had smelled about 20 things. Now I've had a bit more time to wear it and get to know it. I thought I would review it. And I know that you guys love Mugler reviews, so let's do it. So this angel, um, despite what it might sound like or what you might have thought about of Angel before, like preconceived notions. It's actually a very stripped back and simplified Angel, I think. It might sound like it's gonna be a super gourmand bum. It actually isn't. Take everything out of Angel, all of the no notes that you know and love, and only leave behind a couple of things. It has a frosted red berry sorbet note in the top. It has, in the, in the heart, it has a caramelised meringue cream, which is new, that's something they've never had in Angel before. And then the base notes are just simply patchouli and vanilla. So, simple, simple, simple. This one is really surprising in a really good way. I feel like I have to tell you that if you're one of those people that cannot get along with Angel, and there are millions of people out there, I guess, um, because of the prominence of patchouli, fear not. This one might just work for you. So when you first put it on your skin, what's noticeable straight away is the signature Angel Patchouli. It's the patchouli that Mugler seems to favor, which in a lot of the other flankers and the original is really ramped up. It can be quite aggressive. It can be quite green. It can be quite sharp and a bit brash. This is completely different in that way. The patchouli in this is very dialed down. Um, so, it is for summer, you know, at the end of the day, and it makes, makes me think, Angel in Summer, wow, I mean, you'd have to be brave to do that because it is quite potent. This is stripped back, simplified, and what happens is, the chest, uh, chestnut, it's not got chestnut in it, why do I keep going to say chestnut? Mm. This caramelised meringue cream, while not being overly gourmand, acts as a kind of blanket over the patchouli. You can really smell the patchouli, but it is in no way as harsh, and it doesn't have that edge that it sometimes has in Angel. It's really manageable. You know, I love saying that word. It feels overall like the entire composition has been dialed down a few notches and smoothed out a little bit. It doesn't feel like, judging from the name, Eau Sucre, I thought it was gonna be so overly gourmand, when actually, it's just the right balance of sweet and patchouli. There is vanilla in here too, which is a very smooth note, as you know. And what happens is, as it dries, is the patchouli melts into the composition and the, the red frosted sorbet part of the composition is allowed to come forward. So you have a balance of a very manageable patchouli that isn't screaming and loud. You have a touch of sweetness that's smooth without it being overly gourmand. And then it finally allows the red berries to be shown, or this red fruit. It's kind of a nondescript red fruit. I couldn't really put my finger on what it is, but the original Angel does have red fruit in it, but I think it kind of got overshadowed by a lot of things. In this, once it's dry, it allows it to show, and that's really cool. Frosted red berries makes sense. It makes sense for a summery, sorbet kind of feeling still with enough character of Angel to let you know that it still is Angel in some form or another. I feel like this one sits quite close to the skin. Admittedly, I have never fully sprayed on my skin, but I have worn my sample three or four times and I have put quite a bit on. Um, well, I'd say twice I've worn it and I've put quite a lot on. 
um, and it's it's quite a quick transition from this patchouli at first, which still isn't as harsh, but you might think, oh gosh, 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 but it actually does kind of sort itself out and get where it needs to go quite quickly, so don't be scared. Don't be scared of the Angel of Sucrine. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Eau de Toilette version of Angel, if you've ever tried that, but still, in the Eau de Toilette, the patchouli was really harsh in the opening, I thought, and while that one had a clean streak going through it when it dried, it felt very clean, that version, and it felt like it might have had some sort of laundry type feeling going on. Oh, things are going on. This one is a sweeter version, and it's more leveled, so Eau de Toilette territory with less patchouli and sweeter. I want to finish by saying that this really would be a good addition to your collection if you like Angel but you can't get along with how harsh the patchouli is in it or even how gourmand it is. This seems to have levelled out on all aspects and it's much more simplified, you know, there's only far four notes in it. So wearing it from a sample I get about five hours out of it. I can imagine it being much longer if you spray it on properly so I have to admit, you know, I haven't actually sprayed it on me but I'm here to tell you what it smells like mainly, and I think I have done that. Anyway guys, if you want to get this fragrance, they sell different kinds of versions of it over at notino.co.uk and .com. I'll post links below. I hope you liked this review. I am out from my know. Click my logo down there to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Goodbye.